Hey everybody, welcome back to ARK. I got quite a treat for everyone today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build pretty much the best raft you'll find in this game. Uh, here it is. I call it the Seasteader. And it has just about everything you would need on a raft. It's got uh, all, all of the things that you need up to up to just before the electricity tech level. You got, you got plenty of storage. You got plenty of access. You've got... Uh, all these tables are for storage. You can even haul animals in this thing. It's got lots of room to haul animals. If you uh, change just a couple of pieces, you can temporarily swap it into a taming mode, but I wouldn't recommend it. But it is pretty damn handy. You can basically live on the sea, travel around, bring your animals with you. You can even farm eggs. You can cook kibble. Uh, you can enjoy the sunsets. <laughs> you can store plenty of meat, food, and eggs, kibble. You can grind your, you can grind up your shit. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much got everything. It's, you can even feed your animals on here. Plenty of room right there for your animals. And big access door on the back. And, yeah, there it is, the Seasteader. Alright, so let's get busy building it. First, uh, let's go over some of the items you'll need. I'm just going to page through them here and get a good look. Uh, many of these items, I've got more than you're going to actually need. Because, uh, you know, thanks to ARK's really horrible building interface, you're, you're more than likely to waste a, a, several of these items based, you know, because of misplacements. So I got a couple extras on the things you're probably going to mess up, like foundations, some of the big doors, and that's, uh, that's about it. Also, there's a couple extra of these that you just might fat finger anyway, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, I've also got these kind of arranged in the order you're going to need them for you're putting them on the raft so if you're trying to build up to this and you're still leveling and you're still gathering the materials just start gathering the materials more or less in the order you see and by the time you're around like 25 30 you should be able to put everything on the raft one of the last things you'll be able to get is the uh, the big ceiling door um, but you could just leave a big hole in the ceiling until then so I'm going to go ahead and put some of these on the bar for phase one. I'm going to do this in like phases. And we're going to use ladders on almost every one of them. So I'm going to set those over. We're going to use ramps on a lot of them too. Yeah, I'm on PS4 by the way. So yeah, we got to do, we got to use the controller cursor. We got to mash the damn X button for two hours to get things to move. It's kind of a shitty interface, but uh, that's what we got. Some of the design considerations on the raft are also based on console playing, like uh, the way that the uh, dino carriers sit back. It's because of the way the camera works. Y you don't want it blocking your your point of view when you're driving the raft, so I set it back. You can't zoom in and out on PS4. And I'm going to go ahead and name this. And yeah, I, I like the name Seasteader. It's uh, pretty fitting. And one of the first things you'll notice that's different about this raft is that it doesn't have, it's not three wide, it's four wide. So instead of building a centered foundation like in every other video for every other raft, this one's actually going to have uh, a seam between the two foundations in the center. And I'll show you how to, how to offset it a half foundation because uh, like normally you'd be able to just place a pillar right down next to it a pillar a half step away but it doesn't snap on rafts for some reason also that ladder be careful snapping that because it'll try to snap it in the wrong direction you gotta set back also you want to snap that on the outside edge and then put this pillar halfway into that foundation and fight the awful interface until you can get the snap and see if it'll let me put a little lower it looks like it's gonna fight me the whole way so I'll just put it there and drive another one down in it's gotta be connected and remove all this make sure you you get the right selection here you, you'll notice it says wood fence foundation Always, whenever you're destroying an item, check the name before you press destroy, because uh, it sometimes 
it's not selecting the one you think it is. You'll break the wrong thing. So now you can see it's actually giving me full foundation width snaps that are half off the center, which is what we want. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the regular old foundation lowering trick to lower the foundation a bit. Because right now, if we placed one down off of off of these pillars, it would be too high. I like it low. I like it even lower than the one I just showed a little while ago. The uh, the other boat we just toured. I I'm going to build this one with the foundations even lower because I like the uh, the top wooden raft layer of the raft to show through. I think it looks cool. Plus, you can access the raft from pretty much anywhere in your whole in your whole base. So we just lowered it down a little, but it's not low enough. So I'm going to lower it even more. We're going to go back and forth once more. Each time we do this, it lowers it down a little bit. So let's check it again. And that's just right. That's where I want it. Just below the top layer of the raft. And I'm going to place all these. This will protect the entire underside of the raft from, you know, whatever. Some of the style choices on this raft are for PvE servers. Like, if you're playing on a PvP server, you're going to want to not use decorative wood that I think looks nicer <laughs> don't use that on a PvP server but I'm playing on PvE so a lot of the styling choices are are based on PvE so keep that in mind you might want to change a few things if you're PvP in so yeah we're gonna extend the foundation uh, one row on the sides two rows on the back and this trick here is you basically just place thatch roofs and then you you can snap a foundation right up under it. This only works on rafts, by the way, but it does work on rafts, so uh, that's a good thing. Try to do this on the land, though, and it won't let you. Apparently, they re-added this as a special consideration just for rafts. They, it was originally apparently a bug, and they fixed it, and then they unfixed it <laughs> just for rafts. Now, unfortunately, you can't always tell if they're snapping under there, so you won't know for sure. That's why I brought extra pieces, because you never know when uh, it'll do that right there. <laughs> and plop it in the water. <laughs> so we've got an extra foundation or two, so just going to try that again. There we go. This is the entire size of the foundation laid down. It's basically a 3 by f 4 on the front and 2 by 2 on the back. Cool. So, that's pretty much it for that phase. Uh, next thing we're going to do, one of the more complicated parts, we're going to get that done right away, is placing the, the big dino door on the back. These can be a real pain in the ass. I have a ton of trouble getting these things to face the right direction, so let's hope we're, we'll get lucky. I, I've, I've practiced several ways of trying to m make it work right. One of them is place it from this side that you're going to see me do it. Also, to line it up really well, I, I snapped down a ladder and it, it locks my camera in a certain direction. That way I'm sure this thing is lined up real real sharp. And what I try to do is line up the dyno gate right halfway and the little lip of that ramp right in front of me. You see that little lip of ramp right in front of me. I try to put it right on, right halfway through it and about that far back. And if it snapped correctly, you'll see the fat side on the outside and you'll see this thinner, flatter piece uh, on this side. That's that's the right way. So we don't need this piece anymore. That was just for placement. And there, there, that worked perfectly on the first try. If you don't have as much luck, that's what the extra gate pieces I, I had you get are for. Because that, that uh, yeah, that's a massive pain in the ass and it can frequently go horribly wrong. Alright, so on to the next phase. We're going to start placing some walls down, and we're going to place down a couple of special pieces that don't get along very well with walls before we place all the walls down. But yeah, let me go ahead and lay those out on the bar. 
we're done with we're done with a lot of those so yeah we're gonna need regular walls door frames cooking pot window frame might as well get the windows and doors and let's go start with those Now don't place that one or that one yet because we're going to put a cooking pot over there and they are stupid. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean in a second. Also, uh, you'll notice I put a window frame in that corner. If you want a couple more pieces, you want to squeeze a couple more pieces onto your raft, don't use one of these door frames and don't use a window frame because uh, the window frame and the window itself counts as two pieces. So if you don't really care about having a window and you want a couple pieces somewhere, just cut a couple of these door frame and door combos or window frame window combos out. I'm going to place that ramp there temporarily for placing something in a second. But yeah, I like the window and I wanted a couple extra access points. So I got two doors, one on the side here and a window just for, you know, nice sunlight in the bed area. <laughs> Yeah, here, here's what we're going to do. Like, normally when you place a cooking pot, you got to place it pretty far away from the wall. It's got an awkward shape. But the walls don't have to be that far from it. So we're going to place it first, and I'm going to edge it real carefully next to where the wall's going to go. Now, if I tried to place that second, it wouldn't let me place it anywhere near that close to a wall. So I place it first, then I place the wall. And it's snug right up against the edge, so it's not my way. And the next thing we're going to do is get some of these smithies. And, uh, here, here, there. Uh, so, the reason I'm using smithies is because, uh, they have a, a lot of storage capacity. More than any other, you know, similarly sized storage container that you can put on a raft. And every piece counts against your limit, regardless of size. So, I'm going to use these smithies to get the maximum amount of storage. And I'm going to cram them real tight, too. And what I found out about smithies is if you're placing them from on the ground, it demands that they have plenty of room, uh, more than they really need. But if you place them from up higher, for some reason, the box that it checks to make sure that there's room is much smaller. So I'm going to try and place it from up high, and hopefully I won't just keep sliding off the stupid ramp. So, yeah, check this out. I've got it right next to a wall. If I tried to place it from the ground, it would not let me put it that close to a wall. And I want them all to go in the same direction, so I'm getting up awkwardly like this. I'm going to put it right next to the wall. And put it right next to this other wall. And there it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so now we can come down here. And check this out. So look how close I can place this. If I were actually standing on the ground, it would not let me place it this close. But there it is, right next to, right next to it, very close. So that's what I was going for. And I'm going to go ahead and try and recenter because I messed up my camera. If you want to always make sure your your uh, builds are real straight, just recenter your camera off of the rudder or a ladder, and you'll you'll make sure that it's aligned real straight. So I'm going to place this one, give it just about enough room for another table behind it. It's not, notice that when I tried to get closer to this wall, it wouldn't let me place that table over there. And, uh, whoops, it looks like I didn't quite leave enough room. But I'm just going to take this wall down. I'll try this again. And now it's happy with it magically. And then we'll just put the wall back. There we go. Now we got four tables real snugly up against the walls. Plenty of storage. Looks kind of sharp. Uh, I'm going to leave this here for now. I might use it for the roof later. But yeah, there's plenty of room right there for your bird. I like to put my bird right there. And uh, you can put him in the back here too, but I got other animals I like to put in the back. So the bird, I like to put him on the side. So let's put down some more of these walls. 
I like to put um, a window up on the very top here just because let a little sunlight in and you know you're gonna have some stinky animals back here you want to get some airflow <laughs> Um, I guess I'll block this in for now. I'll just swim around the outside to get back up on there later. So yeah, there's the uh, there's about the heights of the back, and that's more or less the end of that phase. The walls. Okay, so let's begin on the next step: is building the roof line and the roof. And uh, we're going to need some new items on our bar. Don't need those. Going to need these uh, wacky triangle pieces that are backwards, if you'll notice. Good job there, wild card. And we're going to need these sloped roofs, which are always a pain in the ass to place correctly. So I got a couple extras of those for you. And I'm going to need a couple of these weird thatch pieces. You can build these thatch pieces out of anything. These are just to uh, position other pieces. So it doesn't matter what they're made of, but the thatch is cheaper. So what you want to do is you want to get the one that's going that way. Check it on a, on a, another edge first. Make sure you got the right one. And I'm thinking that what the best way to approach this top door is. You, I want to get the top door in first because once we have all the rest of the uh, roof pieces going up to the top, it'll give us a bunch of extra snap points and it'll be a real pain in the ass to place the direction I want it to place in. So I'm going to try and approach it from this side. I've approached it from the front and I've approached it from the other side and I've had issues with both of those directions. So I'm trying to approach it from this side, and I'm hoping that the snap point for the ladder that I'll show you later is on the correct side, and hopefully the hinges are on the correct side. Because, yeah, depending on which snap point it uses, it will it'll be all wrong. And there's four different directions it can go. It looks like there's two, but there's actually four. And you'll notice the difference based on the ladder, which I'm going to place later. And here's another ladder snap point issue. Is it on this side or the completely useless side. It's on the completely useless side. That's why I had a, had a bunch of extra ladders on the list because yeah, they are a pain in the ass to get to snap the way you want. That, that looks right. So let's climb up here. And you need two pieces of roof in order to attach that big ass door. So I'm going to put another piece of thatch down here and it's going crazy. That doesn't look right, but let's go ahead and check. And now now we get to this part. This is now you can see this is lovely. Just one of the most aggravating parts of this game is the building UI, which put the hinges on the wrong side and there's no way to control it. There's a button. You can press the touchpad on PS4 to toggle between snap points but it will usually immediately automatically toggle to a different snap point anyway and it'll ignore whatever snap point you've got selected anyway it seems completely random it seems just to be a hilarious tease to fuck with you and 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 so yeah that's why we're using thatch okay Let's try this again. This time I don't have a roof piece coming up here. I've just got two roof. I mean, I don't have a slope piece up here. i just got two roofs. So let's try this again. It wasn't going crazy. It got me the hinges in the right direction. You want the hinges on the sides. So you can see those hinges. That's that's where we wanted them. Now, uh, just for kicks, I'm putting some of these pieces on from up here. So. And get some of these wooden triangles. You can use stone here, you know, uh, but I, I like the wood. Add, add a little bit of, you know, different colors and materials makes it look nicer. Okay. Uh, sort of futzing around. 
Just thinking it out. Yeah, okay, yeah. Some of these some of these sloped roofs, they'll go in awkward directions or they'll place in the wrong spot. They're kind of troublesome. But uh so far so good. I listed extra pieces of these because yeah, they'll frequently fuck up. Oh and by the way, make sure you connect some extra roof pieces to the uh big door up there before you go and remove those thatch roofs. You don't want to remove the thatch too early and then destroy your big door. So uh I'm going to pop a couple of extra roof pieces on here just to make sure that uh, one of these counts is connected and supporting it. And it's going to go crazy on me. And I got the same one twice in a row. That's lucky. So I'm going to take the patch down now. This is just for scaffolding. And that one. Put the sloped roofs in. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna take this stupid ramp down. Didn't even didn't even help us with that with that face. Yeah, it's really starting to take shape though, yeah. Look at this. You can see quite a bit of it is taking shape. The main cabin is just about done. And let's go ahead and put that big door in there. And it's going the right way. I like to I like to open with the doors go on both sides. That way you can still actually drive it with the uh, doors open, and you can still see. And also you can more easily like fall in here with your bird. You can line yourself up along the length of the boat and fly in. And even if the lag fucks you up, you'll be all right. Now here's another quirk: is that depending on which snap direction. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, you might not be as lucky. Depending on which direction this door is in, it could be 180 degrees different from this way. And you won't be able to climb up on the ladder from this side. You'll only be able to climb up on the ladder from the other side. You notice my other boat... Um, one of my other boats, it, it snapped the other way, so I had to put the ladder on the front. So, place it on one side, test it. If it doesn't work, place it on the other side, and you should be alright. There's two snap points on both sides. You want the one that's f further in toward the door and if you're and if you know when it's working it'll it'll budge you around the lip of the door and in and so you're good and I actually like it on the back side I think it's more convenient on the back side which is the way we just got it now the front side you gotta you gotta you gotta go run around the outside of the door to get to your plants I haven't actually showed the plants yet but we're gonna get to that soon Anyway, we can put this big door on the back now, now that we got the roof up there. Put this door in last, by the way, bef after the roof. Otherwise, uh, the roof will get blocked. So yeah, now we can come up here. This is where I like to put some plants. If you're on PvP, uh, you might want to put them like closer to the edges or somewhere else. I don't know where you put them. I don't play PvP. And you're going to want to use probably like the Plant X or something, but I'm not using that. These are just for kibble farming, or kibble, you know, kibble crops. And, yeah, when you snap perfectly lined up, sometimes it gets crazy and spazzes out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to close that door. It'll help me line this up. So here's how you want to line this up. Climb up on the ladder, pop out your thing, and it'll go crazy. Try and correct it back and forth just a little, line it up. You see this wooden the wooden ridges in the front, line those up, and then push this back into the door. You see where that seam is on the door on the right, and you see where the edge of the roof is on the left? Line it up right on the edge. Make sure the scaffold pieces there are inside from that door. You don't want to overlap across the door seam. Line this one up. Same way. You want You want these to be far enough apart that it lets you put the compost in the middle. For some reason if they're too close you can't put the compost right in the middle. You can only put it on one of the crop plots. And you gotta be pretty far back. For some reason you actually block the compost when you're placing it down so aim real far up like I did and be far away from it when you place it and it'll let you place it. And I'm gonna place these stupid torches here as placeholders because uh, the the crops, they actually count against your limit, so you don't want to go over the limit and not be able to grow crops. So I put those stupid torches down as placeholders for the crops later. 
to, you know, reserve a spot for them. Take those, take those torches down when you're ready to grow crops. Okay, so that's pretty much it on that phase. And lastly, let's uh, put all the, you know, f furnishings in here. And one of the trickier ones I want to start with is uh, the feeding trough and the preserving bins. I like to put the feeding trough right here behind the fridges. I got all the food preparation, storage, and usage stuff all in one tiny cluster so you can easily move, you know, you can process the food, you can, you can well you can't cook it, but you can pull out of the fridge or you can process the rot and the, your narcotics and you can do everything real easily from one station without having to move. But yeah, first you want to have this trough in the back and it's doing that stupid thing again. Uh, I like to get it right. Super flush in the corner. Yeah, for some reason, if you're perfectly lined up on a raft, it doesn't seem to get the axis correct uh, and spazzes out all over the place until you change it at all. And then it will stop spazzing out. That's why that trough and several other pieces you've seen have been wacky. You can actually place them totally askew, too. I had a a dino door that was off at a 45 degree angle before. It was completely w weird. I didn't even think it was possible. You won't see that on land, by the way, but on rafts it happens. And I'm going to place these perfectly flush, too. I'm real, uh, you know, real careful on some of these. I like them to be super flush. <laughs> Here we go. They're nice and square, really compact. I like to put a mortar and pestle down here for making narcotics. Just pull a rot right out of the fridge, pull some berries right out of the fridge, make some narcotics. And I like to place this one here for for my spark powder and gunpowder right next to the furnace. Uh, you'll notice that it actually snapped lower a second ago. You might want the lower one and I should have done it that way, but uh, I'm just going to plop it there. And I'm going to cram a fire here. I like to pack these as close as possible to give my bed more room. So you pretty much have all your charcoal generating burn, burn spots right there, pretty close to the uh, gunpowder mortar and pestle to the left. Oh, uh, uh, it looks like we're at the limit, so we're going to take this extra ladder off. We don't need this guy anymore. Right at the limit, and this should be our last piece, too, so that, that'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and line it up. <laughs> Bit of a perfectionist. And there's that wacky shit it does, and there it is. And place it right in the middle. There we go. That is the last piece, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's have a look around. I like to use this one for my crafting table. And I use this one for storing my stuff when I'm logged off. Uh, the one on the left. And these two here I like to use for just bulk storage, like wood, stone, ingots, stuff like that. And from this one spot you can access the inventories on the furnace, both of the tables, and the pestle. So it's pretty convenient. You can just come in and out, and get all your stuff, and pop it right into the storage tables. And uh, here's the bed. You got a couple of cooking spots. There's room for some animals next to the bed. You're, you already saw the cooking station. These two spots here, you can fit pretty big animals here. I like to keep like a trike or a beaver and like a meat eater over there in the front. Yeah, plenty of space in here. That is pretty much it for the build. So yeah, here it is on a actual public server, you know, in practical usage. You can sort of see how many animals you can comfortably fit. I got my trike here, it's pretty big. 
Uh, not as big as some, but yeah, bigger than you'd usually want on a raft, but it fits pretty comfortably here. And uh, i got a few other animals in here I'll show you in a second. You can even cram more than this, like you can put a bunch of dodos or some dillos in here. They're pretty good animals to have when you're getting started in raft life. <laughs> Yeah, plenty of room over there for dillos or dodos or a little green man. I got Maxim and the Wonder Bird here. And I got a couple of animals in the back. Plenty of room. You can actually fit a Rex in there in the back. Uh, it's a real tight fit and his head will actually stick to the ceilings. Mm. And it'll block your ladder access. But he'll fit. It'll look really stupid, but yeah, it'll work. You can get lonely in the night. You uh, got your green man handy. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me show you this. You know, when you're actually piloting the boat. Let me close the door. When you're actually piloting the boat, you just put your camera a little bit forward and you can see plenty of plenty of stuff, plenty of visibility. You can also park this thing up. You can park it on the side, you know, park it up where the beach is on your left side and go in and out of that door without the ramp. Or what I like to do is uh, turn it around, you know, 180, come in and turn it around 180 and get the uh, back end close to the beach so I can get the animals in and out easier. And I like to just stop and go so that I can turn a lot sharper in a small space. Like that. And yeah, there they, they got plenty of, plenty of access. That's pretty much the boat, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, pretty proud of this raft. It's definitely been pretty handy already. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to design and build. Let's go ahead and get a, an outside view of it. Yeah, there you go from the, from the air. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, um, thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.